Tonight at five, Darren Osborne, the man who drove a van into a crowd of Muslim worshippers, is jailed for life. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the BBC News at five. I'm Jane Hill. Our main story tonight, a man who drove a van into a crowd of Muslim worshippers in North London, killing one person and injuring 12 has been jailed for life with a minimum term of 43 years. Darren Osborne carried out the attack near the Finsbury Park Mosque last June. The judge in sentencing Osborne said he'd been on a suicide mission and had wanted to sow long-lasting terror among the Muslim population. Our first report is from Jessica Parker. Well, the elements that Daniel was talking about there, I should say, we'll be talking about after half past with a member of the Home Affairs Select Committee. Uh, but also, uh, for now, uh, we will talk a little bit more about a local imam, because as I mentioned, the judge in sentencing today particularly praised Mohammed Mamou, the imam of the Muslim Welfare House in Finsbury Park, for his reaction on the night. Uh, and I'm going to be talking to him in just a moment, but I think it's worth uh, just telling you a couple of the comments that the judge particularly made in court today, because the judge made the point that Darren Osborne was in some danger from an angry crowd of about 100 people on that night back in June. But the imam told them to leave him alone, uh, to not seek vengeance and to allow the law to take its course which it has now done and the judge described this in court today as a demonstration of true leadership. It is uh, 14 minutes past five. Now, Theresa May is coming under increasing pressure to spell out what she hopes to achieve from the Brexit negotiations, including whether Britain should remain part of a customs union after it leaves the EU. Some Leave-supporting Conservative MPs have urged the Prime Minister to be more specific about her priorities for future trade deals. Downing Street says Mrs May has an open mind to the kind of customs arrangement the UK should pursue. Speaking to our political editor Laura Koonsberg, Theresa May said her visit to China will help boost British trade prospects. President Trump has approved the release of a secret Republican memo which reportedly alleges that the FBI and the Justice Department are biased against him. The president has sent the memo to a congressional committee which is expected to release it a little later today. The FBI has dismissed the claims. Here's what Donald Trump had to say about it all when asked what he thought about the contents of this memo. Now, uh, well, we'll stay in the United States because in dramatic scenes in a courtroom, the father of three victims of the disgraced U.S. gymnastics doctor, Larry Nasser, uh, brought proceedings to a halt earlier today by lunging at him across the courtroom. Larry Nasser, of course, has already been sentenced to up to 175 years in prison for multiple counts of sexual abuse. Well, those were very emotional scenes earlier in court today. The man in question there is Randall Margreaves. He has three daughters who were all attacked, all abused by Larry Nasser, the man who admitted multiple counts of sexual abuse. He was the Team USA gymnastics doctor for many years and abused many, many young girls, teenagers who he was meant to be looking after. And that uh, father then attacked him, tried to attack him in court. You saw him bundled to the ground. In the last few minutes, he has apologised for, as he put it, losing control. He apologised to the court. He said he lost control uh, and he will not be, Randall Margrews, this is, he is not going to be charged with contempt of court. Extra riot police have been deployed in Calais following violent clashes between Eritrean and Afghan migrants. Four Eritreans are in a critical condition in hospital after they were shot. Uh, 18 people were injured in separate incidents. Jane Francis Kelly has the latest details. For the first time, the number of men dying from prostate cancer has overtaken the number of women being killed by breast cancer. It makes prostate cancer the third biggest cancer killer in the country. The charity Prostate Cancer UK says advances in diagnosis and treatment of breast cancer have paid off and argues similar benefits could be seen if more money was allocated to the fight against prostate cancer. Our health correspondent Dominic Hughes reports. Uh, we will take, talk uh, more in the next few minutes about the aftermath of that attack at Finsbury Park Mosque. Uh, right now, we'll catch up with all the day's sports news. Nick Marshall-McCormack has that. Hi, Nick. 
Now, as promised, we're going to talk more about our main story here tonight. A man given two life sentences with a minimum term of 43 years for attacking a crowd of Muslim people near Finsbury Park Mosque in London last June. Darren Osborne was found guilty yesterday of murder and attempted murder after driving a van into worshippers, killing one man and seriously injuring a number of others. Let's talk about the implications of this and particularly some of the judges' comments about radicalisation in this case. Uh, now, Mark Kermode will be joining me shortly for the film review, but uh, another story to bring you before that, because the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have spent their second day in the Norwegian capital, Oslo, as part of their tour of Scandinavia. They met students at a secondary school, and the Duchess said the sub-zero temperatures in the country were reminding her of her university days in Scotland. This report from our royal correspondent, Nick Witchell, I should tell you it contains some flash photography. <laughs> 